How's everybody doing? Good, there you go. Good. Any new gold-plated names to share at this point? Um, yeah, we've done we've done a few. Uh, we're talking about maybe releasing some of the guys that earned it through spring. Um, so yeah, we had a couple that a couple that went today. Um, I don't know if I want to single single anybody out yet right now. Um, so we're, we're kind of looking at maybe some potential ways to release what the guys have done this spring, and you'll be able to tell a little bit in the spring game. Although some of the guys have the uh, the guardian caps on their helmets, so. The ones that haven't earned it, they appreciate having the garden caps on their helmets. So, uh, no, it's been good. I mean, we've, we've. Uh, I tell you, the thing we've done with it this year is, it's been much tougher to earn it. Um, you know, it, it, again, our thought process is, if we're going to we'll continue to raise the standard of the play on the field, then everything else in the program has to be raised as well. And so we told the guys in the beginning, especially the guys that returned. What earned it last year may not necessarily be the threshold to get it done this year. So it's been tougher. We've had less numbers. We've had, you know, the practice has certainly been better, but um, standards up. And the guys have got to really go be, they've got to be really awesome on both sides right now to get it all done. And they've got to be uh, everything off the field, everything on the field. It's got to be really elite and really clear cut for us to name. So how did it? How did it come together with Cliff that he was able to join the staff? And what does he bring, especially to that quarterback room? Just given his experience. Yeah, you know, uh, I, we we connected. Uh, I don't know a month or so ago, just to just to check in, just as friends, and uh, um, he ended up coming into town and spent a little bit of time. And, and uh, it was a job with. with well, Harriger took the job with the Cowboys that had been open, and I had, I had uh, talked to a few other people about it, and uh, and hadn't quite landed on the right person. And uh, I asked Cliff just in kind of passing if it was something he'd be interested in, and described it to him, and he thought about it for a little bit, and it just I think it just ended up being a, a great fit, really, for both sides. Um, you know, he's obviously got familiar familiarity with our offense. He's got familiarity with a lot of the members on our staff. Um, so I think that that certainly made sense. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously his experience, you know, both on the uh, both on the offensive side, will be very helpful in terms of uh, game planning. Some of those things that they can do off of the field, um, have another set of eyes there, is, is very very helpful. And then obviously the added benefit with with a guy like Cliff is a guy that's been a head coach at both this level and at the at the professional level, and somebody that's had to sit in that chair, make those decisions, uh, both. Whether it's something on game day or it's something just through the course of a normal week, it's it's uh, always great to have another another opinion and, and kind of an outside uh, perspective that um, you know that maybe is not tied to one position. Um, and so I think in a lot of ways it'll bring what Coach Brown's bringing to us defensively. And I mean, you know, once uh, once Will Harriger left, that 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 position had been so valuable offensively. We knew we wanted to fill that, and it certainly had the one defensively. So to land on. Land on Coach Brown and, and Coach Kingsbury was a, a great, really great get, and it's going to make us a lot better. Is it surreal at all to you to, like, 20 years later, be bringing with surreal is the word. I mean, I'm definitely excited to, to get him here. I know he's, he's eager to get here. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess if the, the me 20 years ago, would have, that would have been kind of a far out there thought that we'd be coaching at USC, you know, so probably in, in some ways. But, yeah, I mean, that's, to be able to cross paths, I think we've always connected well offensively. At times we competed against each other, you know, when he was at Tech, so we didn't really talk much ball then. We've been able to do it some, you know, as of late in, in the NFL. But it's one of those you don't know if you'll really ever, if it'll time out to get a chance to work together. So, yeah, to, I think this will be a – a special year for for both of us and uh, i know he's really invested in what we're doing and i'm really excited and uh yeah it's cool that you know a guy of, of, of obviously you know what he's accomplished in the game the fact that he wants to pass any of the personal relationships and just professionally for the guy you know he's this is not something he's just going to come do because he likes some of the people you know what i mean like professionally this you know he, he, he sees the opportunity that, that this is right now and uh which is a cool you know, a cool statement for our program. You know, that, that a guy like that would want to come take this role and help this program take another big step, and he recognizes what's going on. So, uh, just another example of uh, where we're headed, and another uh, great bit of momentum for the program. What, what you guys have maintained this year's. Yeah, you know, we didn't cross over much at Texas Tech. Uh, really, we really never worked together, um, and so you know, he was kind of on the way out as I was on the way in. Uh, you know, Cliff is probably four years older than me, and so uh, 
Yeah, and then just, you know, he, he obviously kind of jumped off from there and did a really good job at Houston. Um, and we competed against him a couple of times when he was at Houston. He did a great job at CLC and the offseason goes to A&M. Uh, kind of through those years, we stayed in touch, but we weren't weren't super close. Uh, I guess knew more had more kind of mutual acquaintances, uh, and then got to know him more when we got in the league together. When I got to know you, and he was at Texas Tech, and obviously had seen before games. We had a chance to, to to communicate some, and then obviously, you know, he goes to the NFL, and then they draft Kyler right away. So that eventually, that immediately opened up a, a really good line of communication, and we probably been closer in the last few years and have more interactions than we did in all the early years just because of that. And so, uh, yeah, it's just kind of seeing it come full circle and obviously having him with us. Do you feel like you have to take some responsibilities off your plate? Uh, it, it, it can at times, yeah, for sure. Uh, and and will did, will did too, I mean, for sure. I mean, that's, you know, doing this at Oklahoma um, and, and being in this position and kind of doing what I do, I've tried to learn and build the staff to, to allow me to to, um, to cover all the bases I need to cover as a coach. And uh, so yeah, I mean I think he'll offensively certainly be you know very valuable in the room, and, and I think here in the second year, you know, I got to be whatever the program needs me to be, and that'll be a little bit different in year two versus year one. That'll shift every year because uh, every team is a little bit different. The program is always going to be. So yeah, having guys in the different areas that you trust um, makes a big difference there, and that's what you know. Continually, as staff positions have opened up, that's what I've continually tried to do is bring in people that I trust. I mean, what is bringing like Dave Irwin in from GM, you know, bringing a guy like Cliff and bringing Greg Brown in. I mean, those are guys that I have extreme trust in and I know, um, you know can be kind of my eyes and ears and they can, you know, as, you, as you pointed out, you know, occasionally take things off of me so I can be more present in, in different areas, um, which is obviously a huge help. So, um, no, this is, you know, this will be great. Like I said, on top of it, having having a couple of guys or having somebody in the room that's been a former head coach, you can't, everybody thinks they know what it's like and all that until you sit in that chair. And it's, uh, having somebody that's done that would be invaluable. Mike Leach, Mike Leach is a big influence on both of your careers. What do you think he would say seeing you two working together, knowing how dynamic you guys are? <laughs> uh, I guess I gotta go with the G-rated version. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Uh, deep down, he would really like it. He would come up with, with a really kind of clever, probably fairly crude uh, remark <laughs> to uh, to uh, describe it. Um, he would have a funny take on it, but yeah, deep down, I mean, I think he would he would enjoy it. I mean, I think he always took some pride in seeing you know guys getting together, and I know he'd enjoy it a lot more if we have a lot of success together. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get that done and make that come to fruition. Thank you, Coach Riley. Right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.